What is good friends, back from a World Cup round 1, this time I may aka Porkchopman from US West versus tonight from the UK. Looking at the teams, Mega Medicham can be a big threat when it comes in on Chansey or Pax and predicts correct it can get a kill. Um, Mewith I would have to guess is most likely an off power variant because he's a bit weak to Heatran. Like he cannot switch into Heatran is what I'm trying to say. So probably Will-O-Wisp soft belt off power and last move most likely Ice Beam. It could be Defog as well but I think um, Defog is most likely on the Landris. Then uh, I would make this Mew bold if I would make the team to switch into Zygarde well. Then most likely Rock, Sleet Sheet, Power Whip, Ferrothorn, last move could be Knockoff, could be Gyro Ball. Um, Spadef, Pex plus Spadef, Feral um, are most likely his two Ash Greninja answers. Otherwise Greninja is a big threat, so it makes sense to have two checks um, because he doesn't have a Dark Resist. So if this gets flinched then he can go to this still and not give the Greninja Ash form for free. Then it's probably some Breaking Cartana, it could be SDZ move, it could be Bandit. And most likely a Scarf Landers to round out the team, give it some speed control. Um, probably U-turn, Earthquake, Defog, last move, either HPIs or Stone Edge. Most likely Stone Edge because this team is really weak to Pinsir. So now it brings a team that is made by P2. P2 would be his teammate or would be playing instead of him, but P2 is tournament banned at the moment. I know the team P2 used it multiple times uh, on ladder in SPL. It's Scarf Ditto, Healing Wish Rocks, Softboard, Seismic Toss, Chansey, Superpower Knockoff, Hurricane, Defog, Flyzy, Tornadus, Skull, Toxic Spikes, Recover, Haze, Toxapex, SD, U-Turn, Ruse, Bullet Punch, Max, Defense, Scissor. On the newest version, P2 made it Curse because it helps him deal with Coil, Zygarde. And last but not least, Choice Bandit, Zygarde. So we see Tornadus versus um, Lander lead. Yes, this Landers might have Stone Edge, but Landers doesn't carry Max Attack usually on Choice Scarf. So it cannot, it can probably not Oko the Tornadus, so I would probably just U-Turn out here from Pogchop, man. So Knight goes in the scissor, um, fearing a Stone Edge. That makes me believe that he's most likely, uh, potentially a minus defense Tornadus. Because like I said, he has superpower Hurricane Knockoff. Uh, minus defense, so he can kill superpower, um, he can t kill Tita better with superpower. Does make sense, which is why he most likely switched out turn 1. So he um, U-turns out on the obvious incoming Toxapex. Now he can either go to his choice Bandit Zygarde, and then just fire off a thousand arrows, um, see how his opponents react. How his opponent reacts to that. If he goes into Mew, then you get to um, know the Mew spread. And if it's a timid Mew, it's gonna take a lot from arrows. And I guess Landris can also switch in once or twice to Zygarde, but it's not the best answer. The other potential play here is going Chansey and going for Rocks. But I don't think that. Um, yeah, you have to be a bit careful with bringing out Chansey because there's a Medicham on the other side. If you go for Rocks and you just give the Medi a free switch in, that might not be the optimal play. I think going Zygarde for now. Is probably the play to make. Oh yeah, he's taking his time here and he goes on a Toxapex. I don't really understand that play, so I assume he's just gonna throw out some Skulls, try to get a burn. So now they're either gonna exchange Skulls here or, um, like, Pokemon doesn't have a good switch into this because he nothing nothing on his team really wants to get burned. So I assume they're just gonna exchange Skulls. Okay, he goes in the Ferrothorn. Um, so Pogchamon can get up a hazard here. Um, if I'm so mighty, I always go hard into Tornadus. Because if the rocks or the spikes go up, one of the two, I don't know if he has both. So he goes for rocks. Yeah, he should have, he, he fishes for the Scorpion, which is in my opinion a bad play. He should have just gone to Tornadus. And then if rocks go up, then he can defog them away. But he stays and he keeps fishing for the burn. Uh, he should have gone to Torn, uh, in my opinion, on turn 4. But then if he didn't, he didn't do that, but then he should have gone to Torn at turn 5 at least. So now he keeps uh, throwing out skulls, trying to get the burn. Now he gets the burn on Pork Chop's man, on Pork Chop man's Toxapex. Now, um, so Knight is most likely going to switch out into either Chansey or Tornadus here. Um, Aima is free to click Scald slash Toxic. Um, so Knight's Pex is most likely not going to stay in, so he can potentially exactly go for Toxic, anticipating a switch. And now this is. A Tornadus that is chipped from rocks and from Toxic and he has to defog because dude you need these rocks off. The Katana is a big threat. Like don't play this so weird. Like just get rid of the hazards please. Um Pork Chapman can just click Skull here. I'm gonna keep calling him different. Sometimes I may, sometimes P sometimes PCM, I hope you guys are fine with it. He goes for knockoff to get rid of the black sludge. Not the play to make in my opinion. He should definitely prioritize getting rid of the hazards. Because now he cannot even defog because then his torn dies. So now he has to switch out um, to his own toxic packs because nothing else wants to switch into Skull. I guess Chansey could have also 
come, came out. So um, Pokemon goes into Ferrothorn, knowing that the Torn is most likely not going to stay in. And now, um, so Knight is probably just going to spam Skull trying to get the burn because he cannot really go into Torn anymore because the Torn um, got chipped. Okay, so it spikes plus rocks Pharaoh. It's double hazard Pharaoh. So it uh, it already, already showed Leech Sheet. So the last move is either Power Whip. Most likely Power Whip. Could be Gyrable, but I assume it's Power Whip. And yeah, so Knight didn't play this well. Um, at least he gets the burn on the Ferrothorn. So if this has Power Whip, this means he can potentially defog with the Torn on this. Um, I assume we're going to see a Leech Sheet come out here from Pogchopman. Yes, um, so Knight goes in a Tornadus. So now, um, if he defogs, he's going to go down to... I don't know if Power Whip plus Toxic kills him. It's Gyrable, okay. So it's not Power Whip on the Pharaoh, but I guess since he has Pharaoh plus Pax, he can um, still check Ashgrin. So now either Zygarde or um, Chansey is going to come out. I assume Zygarde is going to come out here. And just like Bandit Thousand Arrows, which is what he should have done way earlier in my opinion. Um, yeah, like his team doesn't have that much to pressure the Pharaoh Zone, to, to be fair. But he still should have gone torn to defog um, and then knock off the Pharaoh Zone's leftovers. If Pokemon stays in, he should not have stayed in with Pharaoh on torn anyway. But he should have at least tried to do that. But instead, he let the rocks go up and he stayed in with his Pharaoh and spammed uh, with his packs and spammed Scald for a few turns. Um, which definitely is gonna cost him. Like now he lost his Tornadus. Katana just became a huge threat now. Um, yes, he still has a defensive scissor and a ditto that is Scarf, but yeah, still, Katana is a threat now. So he goes into Zygarde, this um, should just go for Bandit Thousand Arrows here. And the play for Pogchapman here is either go into Mew, if you're bold, or if you're defensive. If you're not bulky Mew, then it's Landris, exactly. So he goes Landris, making me think that the Mew might not be as defensive. So now this is a free as u turn. Uh, if the Zygarde stays in, you can just go to Mew. If the Zygarde switches out, you get momentum. You're in a driver's seat. And yeah, now that the tornado is dead, the Pharaoh Zone can still set the hazards back up later in the game, and so now it lost his Defogger. So he turns into Medicham, which I don't know why he went into Medicham instead of Mew. U-turn, yes, was the correct play, but yeah, he should have gone Mew instead of Medi. Now, um... He can click High Jump Kick here with the Medicham, because the tornado is dead, which means um, there's no, no reason to click Ice Punch. The Zygarde is not gonna stay in, because he needs the Zygarde, because he doesn't have much else to pressure the Pharaoh Zone, so he definitely needs the Zygarde around, in my opinion. So, what is his play here? He can try to go Scissor to catch his opponent on the Ice Punch, but that's exactly why he should High Jump Kick, in case his opponent tries to pivot into Scissor on the Ice Punch. Um, if you don't want to risk missing, I guess you can also switch out... Um, you can also switch out here into what? Into Mew? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not sure why, why the Medi came out. So, Toxapex comes out, there's the high jump kick, there's a lot. So maybe he made this a bit more spadef. I remember it was um, more so fist death on the original team that P2 made. But now, um, if Pokemon has Zen Headbutt, which, in my opinion, every Medi team should have Zen Headbutt, because that's his main way of hitting stuff like Clefable, hitting stuff like Toxapex. So he can just click Zen Headbutt here if he has it. And... I guess um, Sonia has to either bank on a miss or pivot into his onto Scissor or on the Zen. Um, we see it's Black Such packs. We know it's not Payapa, so it cannot live a Zen. So he does um, he does pivot into Scissor, anticipating a Zen. As Pogchaman switches out in the Pharaoh Zone, either not having Zen Headbutt for some reason, or he doesn't want to risk the miss. I assume more so he didn't want to risk the miss. But last turn he high jump kicked as well, and he risked the miss. So I don't know. Maybe he doesn't have Zen Headbutt. Not quite sure. Now, Pogchaman can get up a hazard here. There's not really a point setting up for Sonayat. Because even if he sets up, there's still a full Toxapex in the back that walls his Scizor. So there's no point in setting up. So he should just hard switch out, because if he U-turns, he just takes unnecessary Iron Barbs. So assume he's gonna hard out into either Zygarde or Ditto. So he goes Ditto. Um, Pogchaman gets up his rocks. And now Pogchaman can switch out here. Into his Kartana, most likely. Yes. So Knight goes for spikes. So now this Ditto is locked into Scarf Spikes and he let his Torn go down. Um, so now this is a big problem, this Kartana. Um, he's forced to go into Scissor, he doesn't have another play. If this is Bandit, I assume we're gonna see a Sacred Sword here from Pogchamen. Um But Bandit Card might not be a biggest problem for So Knight because be between Scissor and Pex he can deal with Bandit Card. But if it's SD, it can definitely be a huge problem if it's SD Z move. But yeah, he's definitely gonna have to go Scissor here, that's his only play. And we're gonna see 
if it's banned or if it's SD card. I mean, there's nothing to think about for Sonia. You always go scissor here. Yep. And Katana reveals SD, so now Pork Chapman can go for Sacred Sword. Um, if it's pummeling, I guess if it's pummeling, they might just kill from here. I'm not sure. Max Defense Scissor might be able to live a plus to pummeling, but I doubt it because Katana is super strong. Three bullet punches, which doesn't make much sense to me. As Pork Chapman SDs again. Um, both of these plays didn't make that much sense to me because if the scissor you turned into the ditto there Which was in my opinion the better play then it could have scared out the katana the scarf ditto um, So I would not have as deep there I would have either sacred sorted or all out pummeling but it worked out for him and Now so now it doesn't have a counter play he just I guess he's just gonna bullet punch and let the scissor go down Because he doesn't have a switch into sacred sword sacred sword can now Probably just kill the scissor. He doesn't even need pummeling to be pummeling for it to kill the scissor because he's at plus four. Um, I assume that this Kartana does not have knockoff because if this Kartana has knockoff, Pork Jumpman might just get revenge reverse swept by a Ditto that copies the Kartana because Ditto is going to copy all the attack boosts. Um, scissor is obviously going to go down here. Like, I don't see another play for him besides letting Scissor go down and then coming in with Ditto to revenge him. Um, I guess you can sack the Chansey if you do, if you think Scissor is more valuable than Chansey, but there's a Pex on the other side. So yeah, it's just Bullet Punch to get some chip. Sacred Sword picks up the Scissor. Uh, so plus 5 Katana, so not Ditto can come out. Ditto is going to be at plus 5 and then can scare out this. The thing is, um, if this has knock, not, not, if this doesn't have knockoff, this Katana, which it should not have, then it cannot sweep, it cannot reverse sweep him. Because if he locks, let's say he has... Sacred Sword, and he goes for that. Pork Chopman can just pick a fodder, and then he can can come in after with either the Mew or with the Toxapex, and then with Pex to Haze or with Mew to Will O Wisp. And if it locks into Leaf Blade, it doesn't even kill the Katana. Also, Ferrothorn can take Leaf Blades after. I guess Leaf Blade crit would be a bit risky. If if uh, Leaf Blade gets a crit, that might be able to sweep through Pork Chopman's team. And if the last move. It's either smart strike or knockoff. If it's knockoff, uh, Sonorite can click it here and probably just run through Pork Chapman's team. But I think, like I said, it's not knockoff because then he would not have SD twice. It would have been a huge misplay. But yeah, if the last move is smart strike, then after he picks a fodder here, he still has packs to go out into and haze away all the boosts. And he's um, in a better position as well because there's like most of Sonorite's team, half of like some of Sonorite's team is already dead and he still has a Medicham alive. That can come in um, on Chansey, on Pax. So unless Sonite gets a Leaf Blade crit or this has knockoff and just sweeps Porkchapman, um, Porkchapman should have this game. Because he sacks, I think he just sacked the Katana here if you're Porkchapman. You see what he locks himself into. If he locks himself into Sacred Sword, then afterwards you go into Toxapex and click Haze or into Mew, most likely into Pex and click Haze because Mew can risk can miss a little bit, so that's not the optimal play. Uh, if he locks himself into Leaf Blade, he doesn't even kill you. And you click, you just click Sacred Sword if you're Pork Shaman, basically is what I'm trying to say. Um, and if Sonai locks himself into Smart Strike, that also doesn't kill. And if the last move is knockoff, then it's over for IMA for Pog Chapman, but I don't think it's knockoff like I said. I've gone over this a few times now. So the timer's going down, but I think the you definitely just sacred sword here if you're Pog Chapman. And that way you see what he locks himself into. And so now it's play is like he's thinking super long here, so at this point it's obvious that he doesn't have knockoff. Because if it had knockoff he would have clicked it and just swept Pork Chopman's team at this point because knockoff would Oko everything, pretty sure. It would be at plus six, then Lando can intimidate, but then it gets back to plus six after the Lando goes down. It also outspeeds Scarf Lando because it's a Scarf deal um, that copied the Kartana. Obviously, Scarf Cut would outspeed Scarf Lando. Scarf deal in this case. You guys, get what I'm you guys get what I'm trying to say. But I know Pork Chopman is a good enough player to know that. Knockoff would have swept him exactly, and he doesn't have knockoff. Otherwise, he would have never gone for SD twice. So it is leaf. He leaf blades, and he doesn't get the crit. I guess tonight banked on a crit there. And yeah, this game just ends. Like Pork Chapman just wins now. Zygarde has to come out and click E speed, but I don't think that even kills. Um, Chansey and 
packs both go down the leaf blade. This um, Zygat also goes down the leaf blade, so now he probably has to get an E speed crit to pick off this Kartana. So yeah, Pogchamp Man should just click leaf blade. E speed does not pick up the kill, and this Kartana is just gonna raid. <laughs> um, I don't know, let's see if Sonite sends out his Chansey and his packs to let them all go down, or if he just forfeits, okay, he sends them out. So he's gonna let this, ka he's gonna let this Kartana get more kills. Bob Pax gets bobbed, leaf by a sacred sword, he is gonna bob the chance. <laughs> Good gravy. Oh Z move. Smart strike. Um Z Cox will crash. So last move was smart strike, okay. So basically, um so Knight locked himself into Leaf Blade. If he got the crit um, and that would have killed. I don't remember if it would have killed. I I would have to back scroll back up. Um I don't know. If it killed then it still didn't win Sonai at the game because afterwards actually actually that would have been super scary because um, the only thing that can take Leaf Blade is the Ferrothorn. Yeah yeah. So if he crit and that kills the Kartana, this could have been super scary. Because I don't know if Iron Barbs from Ferrothorn plus Fake Out from Medigem would have been enough to revenge the Kartana. But other than that, Pork German always won this Unless he got hacks, because even if Cox could crash, I mean, Smart Strike came out and crit the Katana, then he still could have gone afterwards to his packs and hazed all the boosts away, and he was in the better position. So, um, I think the the main place where he messed up is early with the to letting his tornadoes go down, letting the hazards go up. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for FLCL vs. Zomog later, and smash that like button. Peace out, friends. Grats to PCM for winning this, and goodbye.